Testing, testing, one, two, three. Welcome to the Dishing Up Digital Podcast. I'm your host, Ellen, a former nine to five escapee turned six figure business owner. It's finally happening. I'm recording my podcast and this is gonna be a little weekly vlog also documenting kind of like the process of creating my podcast. By the time you're watching this, my podcast will be live, fingers crossed if everything goes well. Um, so I'm gonna put a link to that in my bio. You're gonna be able to watch it on like, or let's, oh my gosh, see, I'm so not a podcaster yet. I keep saying like, watch or like record. And I'm like, no, wait, not record, well, film. I keep saying watch and film. And I'm like, no, that's YouTube speak. I'm recording. And what is it? I don't know. You can listen to it. You can listen to it. Yeah. So you can listen to it basically everywhere. You can find a podcast, Google podcast, Spotify. So excited. I just recorded one episode. I recorded episode two first, just to like, kind of like test the waters a little bit. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be because I'm quite used to talking. I thought I could just hit record and prattle on, um, but I had to stop and restart for quite a few times. Um, I also recorded my podcast intro, which you just saw in the beginning there as well. I've kind of um, put my jewelry box here to lift the mic a little bit higher because I don't think I was getting it close enough. And then I was kind of like hunching over, which isn't, isn't super cute. But what is cute is this yellow dress. Are we loving it or are we loving it, guys? <laughs> Basically, the other thing on my to-do list today is to get this ba pink backdrop going and shoot a podcast like cover image. I want some really cool kind of like cover art. And um, I'm also going to obviously shoot some like marketing material for my Instagram, some Instagram reels. And I basically have rented this dress from a website in New Zealand called Design and Wardrobe. I know like dress rentals or clothing rentals have become really popular in recent years. So there's probably lots wherever you are watching from. But Design and Wardrobe is a really popular one in New Zealand. And I've bought some stuff off their like secondhand section before, but I've never rented a dress. So I decided to give it a go because I wanted something new to wear, but I also didn't want to spend lots and lots of money. And I was also like, I have so many clothes already. It's only because I wanted something new for the marketing material, you know, something that really made a statement and draw people in. And my issue is when you want to buy clothes like that, you wear it once for a photo shoot and never wear it again. So I think renting is a really great alternative. And I just, I love this. It's from a brand called AJE, age, age, edgy. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but it's a very like fancy, expensive brand. So it's also a really nice way to try out and wear some nice brands that you wouldn't necessarily be able to afford to buy. Um, this is beautiful. This is like a, li a linen silk blend. So the fabric just feels incredible. And I feel very bougie just to be like wearing this at my desk. I decided to put it on while I recorded the episodes for like a real vibe, <laughs> like to feel real fancy and, and get myself sort of pumped a little bit to record. So yeah, that was why um, you also will have seen I like unboxed all my new gear. I really went all out. Um, obviously you could just use any old headphones, but I was going for the full experience and I've got like a really nice microphone. This is like a really popular one, the Shure M27 something podcast mic. Um, and it was one of the more expensive ones, but I was like, we're doing this and we're doing it right. So we've made the investment and yeah, let's get to shooting the photos. right out and say it. I think this is the best shoot I've done solo for my business yet. This dress is magnificent. I love it. My hair is behaving. My makeup's looking cute. Like all of the photos are turning out like exactly how I envisioned them. Like so often in my business with these kind of shoots, I do end up improvising a little bit because nothing ever happens how you have it in your head. And these ones just look amazing and I'm so stoked. And like I've even filmed um, two reels I can use. Like one is like, a like one day to launch for the podcast it's like a fun reel of me being like um like sitting down at my desk with all my podcast gear being like what is this and it like looks so cool with a pink get up and the yellow sleeve um and i'm just so happy i feel so inspired and yeah now now we just have to record all the episodes i guess <laughs> Look 
looking a little less glamorous, I changed into just a shirt and my sweatpants because I was having leftover spaghetti bolognese for my lunch and I was like, we don't want any spag bowl stains on my yellow dress that I have to return. So I'm gonna pop that dress back on now because I'm gonna film a YouTube video just while I have like the nice makeup and I mean, I'll fix my hair, put it back to be nice. Uh, but while I have the nice makeup and the dress and everything, um, I'm gonna unbox the new handbag that I bought, which will definitely be live before this vlog, I think, maybe? I'm not sure. If it's not, there's a handbag unboxing coming up shortly. It is currently Wednesday. I forgot to vlog. I completely forgot. I was planning on vlogging on for this weekly vlog Monday, Wednesday, and um, Thursday to kind of round out my week from the Friday. Um, but I just got carried away editing and doing work on my podcast and completely forgot to film it. So we're going to have a catch up today. I'm going to show you some of the things I've been working on. We have a little taco bean on the couch. He's usually not allowed on the couch. Um, but I'm looking him after looking after him today because both his mom and dad are at work and he's had surgery You can kind of see the massive cut along the top of his head He had to get a cyst removed and it was pretty gnarly. He's got a huge amount of stitches in there um, But yeah, we, we want to keep make sure he's like all comfy So I was just like a complete sook and I was like you can't come on the couch He's also had a cone of shame on um, but I've taken it off because he wouldn't go to the bathroom without his coat with his cone of shame on um, so he took it off he went to the bathroom and he's been really good he hasn't scratched it and because I'm sitting right next to him I'm kind of like oh, I can keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't scratch his stitches or anything um, but as soon as I need to get busy doing my photo shoot today he's gonna have to go back in the cone of shame <laughs> Right now, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, watch some YouTube, relax a little bit because I've had quite a couple of hours this morning. It's literally 11.30 already. <laughs> I've had a couple of hours um, just working on content for my clients, um, doing posts, creating Instagram stories, all that kind of jazz. So it's quite a busy day today. So let's have a little bit of a break now. Packing, getting ready to go to Auckland. Looks like there has been a bomb that's gone off in my office because I've been packing and then also like shooting a whole bunch of photos um, for a new client this morning. I'm feeling very, very uninspired and unmotivated today, which is not what I needed. I had lots to get done and my emotions and feelings is just very bleh at the moment. Um, but I thought I'd show you what I've been working on this week as a little bit of an insight to an insight into launching the podcast. So I've been editing all of the images and they turned out so good from the photo shoot. I love them. And then I've been putting them together in an Instagram layout and kind of what I basically need to do is like prep all of the posts and little like videos and like audio snippets of the episodes for the next kind of like month so that I can schedule them and just roll them out really easily. Um, this is going to be for like the launch so it's going to be divided up into several different posts so I'll like post these three like I don't know like five days out and then that'll be like three days to go and then that'll be like launch um, which is awesome. I think it's going to look really cute. And my podcast editor, Lucy, I can't remember if I mentioned, but I've, I've hired someone to basically help me execute the podcast, Lucy. She's edited the intro, she's mixed it all to music, and she's edited the first episode, and it sounds really cool, it sounds so legit, I sound so professional, like, I actually know what I'm talking about. It's very fancy, very exciting. So the next steps from here are just kind of like submitting it on all the platforms. Apparently the process to, like, submit your podcast and get it all approved and live um, for, on Apple Podcasts is quite slow um, so we have to do that first and then the other ones it's just a matter of processing like the podcast cover image and the description and then that all goes through easily Pod, uh, Apple podcast is the only difficult one but we'll see how it goes hopefully it's relatively pain-free and the great thing is I have someone else to help me with all of this stuff so that's fantastic I'm flying up to Auckland today um, I have about two and a half hours actually before I need to leave for the airport 
Um, so hopefully we can get some more work done. I've had so many inquiries today about private coaching because I had an article go up on Stuff New Zealand. Um, so I'm trying to like respond to messages and put together like a, pro a proper private coaching proposal. I'm so tongue tied and tired. I'm just gonna go, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> it's now a little bit later as you can see by the sunlight beaming in and hitting my glowy slash sweaty face. <laughs> I just got off a discovery call with a really lovely Kiwi guy who found me through YouTube. We love that. We love people finding my YouTube videos and actually talking to the real humans who watch them is always exciting. Um, but it? His name is Omid and he's signing up for my membership group, which is really fantastic. Um, so I do offer free discovery calls if you guys are interested in kind of having a chat with me just to work out how you'd like to work with me, you know, chat about your budget, what you're sort of looking for in terms of your business, in terms of coaching in terms of your social media agency if you need help with that and I can direct you towards a program a course or like my membership to see what suits you best um, so it's really interesting I went on the call thinking that I would direct this person to my, towards my group program um, but then it turned out the membership was really perfect for him so I'm really excited for that uh, my membership group happens for those of you who haven't um, heard of it I do monthly not monthly do weekly live streams in a little fa uh, private Facebook community and and it's basically a place where you can get like a bit of a coaching experience with me. You can post questions, get support in your business, connect with other social media managers and service-based entrepreneurs. But it's also at a really low price point. So it means that um, you can, you know, have a coaching experience without having to pay $2,000 or without being locked into, you know, like a $500 payment every month for the next six months. It's literally $37 a month. You can cancel at any time. Um, there is a slight discount if you want to pay for an entire year of, uh, upfront, which would be, you know, amazing if you want to. Um, but yeah, what I'm actually doing right now is I'm about to jump on my live stream for the membership group. Today I'm chatting all about like how to manage your time and how to kind of organize things better with your client. Um, so I call them my Wednesday wind downs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a little gin and tonic um, because I like them to be really fun and kind of casual. Sorry, excuse the mess in my kitchen. I've been, you know, not motivated to clean that today. And yeah, I just like them to be like fun. I like them to be, you know, a bit more chatty and casual. That's a really cool thing about the membership group as well. So I'm going to leave a link to the web page down below. I can't open my gin with one hand. If you are interested in joining the membership group, it's called Dishing Up Digital Insiders Club. Um, and yeah, I'm really, I'm really proud of it. It's something it's something new that I started this year and it's it's working really well. So if you want to join, come join me. Um, I'm going to make my gin now. <laughs> okay, we have the gin and sorry, my kitchen bench is also horribly messy. Don't judge me because I was filming, I uh, was taking photos of tea today. So I've got all these little loose tea leaves on over my bench and I'm going to clean them in a second. I know my mom is watching this and be like, Ellen, wipe your bench down. It's disgusting. I will mom. It hasn't been sitting like that for three days. I promise. Hello from Auckland. I am in my old bedroom in my parents' house. It is now Thursday morning and I'm having a little bit of a day out in the city. I'm gonna catch up with some friends at lunchtime and then after work drinks and just kind of like work from a cafe from the day. So I've already done a bit of work at home this morning so it's like 10 o'clock and I'm gonna catch the bus into the city and yeah, have a lovely little day. lunch with my friend Daniel, I had drinks with my friend Priscilla, and I did a bit of cafe hopping um, and working for the day, so it was actually really nice. And I also did a touch of shopping, which I kind of I was expecting to do, but I also wasn't expecting to do. I wanted to buy myself a new piece of jewellery, but when I thought about it, I was like, I really don't need any new jewellery. That was just me 
wanting to shop <laughs> but something i have wanted for a while is a new wallet let me get my old wallet actually here it is i've just emptied it out it is a kate spade wallet that i bought over six years ago on my first trip to melbourne um so it's been a very special wallet i've absolutely loved it i have worn it to um death it's kind of like all falling apart and i decided i just wanted to upgrade it get something new um because it was looking really tatty to the point that it's it's losing threads now <laughs> um but it served me really well and i wanted to get something similar um but i i didn't really want another kate spade one because like i got this when i was in university i wanted to kind of like upgrade but i just can't bring myself to buy like a luxury designer wallet because i love i love my designer bags <laughs> as you can see but like there's something about like buying like a louis vuitton wallet or a gucci wallet or something like that that is just like it costs you like seven hundred dollars and it's a wallet like they they get beaten up you throw them around and on one of my recent videos actually my strathbury unboxing somebody commented that they are a really big fan of furla and i've been aware of furla for a long time like i've seen some of their bags pop up when i've been my sort of second hand hunting and i really love the look of them and when i looked into the brand a little bit more i was like actually this is pretty cool you know they've been around since the 20s italian leather very good quality but they're kind of a little bit more entry level luxury like they're not crazy prices it's not the prices of you know chanel bags or anything like that um so i went and had a look in their store because i was walking down queen street and i didn't realize that we have a fula store in new zealand now um so yeah it was the first time i'd seen the store um it's down down by commercial bay which is a new shopping center or shopping area in auckland and I went in there and they were having a massive sale. So it was just, you know, it was just meant to be. So we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing. My little wallet. This is so cute. So this was 50% off, which was very cool. They had 40% off and then a further 10% off. I guess because it was the end of the sale. So they were really trying to push the stock. Like when I went in there, she was like, what are you looking for? And I was like, wallets. And she took me straight to the sale section and was like, you need to look at these. And I was like, okay. This is the little wallet I picked up. As you can see, it's a very similar style to the Kate Spade one but just a touch smaller because I was looking for something a little bit smaller I was really tempted to get like just a card holder like something that's really thin um, but then I saw this and this is much more my style and it is just that little bit bigger um, it's got lots of pockets so first of all it opens at the front here Ooh. there is a little kind of like a coin pouch I could put oh it's like it must be a little authenticity card in here Oh, that's cute. Um, yeah, so I could put coins in there if I wanted to. There is the main compartment here, which goes out like this. So it's got like that, what is it, like a triple fold or bifold? I don't know. Triple fold. Must be a triple fold wallet. Um, so I could put notes in there as well. And then there's little card slots down the back here as well. Um, so yeah, very cool. And then the sales assistant at the end pointed out you can also slip things down the crack between the two sections as well. It is now Friday and I'm at Tara's house. This is my first time seeing her new house. Um, I'm just here with my chops. <laughs> we're having dumplings for lunch and I'm basically like working from here for the day so we can hang out because we genuinely like each other. But also <laughs> we're just working in separate rooms. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ended up, I ended up having so many meetings today which I didn't really think about. Um, but yeah, if you haven't watched Tara's moving vlog, go check that out so you can see a little sneak peek into her new house and you eating a dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna have a lunch and keep working. Hello! It is actually Saturday now because I got a migraine and I didn't film anything else yesterday and we didn't film our YouTube videos. We just ate lots of snacks. We ate snacks <laughs> and I lay on Tara's couch really dramatically with my like, your bean bag over my eyes. Yeah. And a great time but we have just recorded an episode for my podcast this is our little setup it's so cute we tried to put a mirror here to bounce some light the headphones. so okay. cute look at hello. this hello Welcome hello to my podcast. so that's gonna be up on our channel it might be before this vlog or after this vlog so that's exciting you're gonna be oh actually it might be after this vlog because i think i've got you as like episode four or five on the podcast yeah so something to look forward to i definitely want to do more interviews but i thought tara was a great place to start like as an interview like with my sister more chill less stressful for me <laughs> except but... i was really nervous <laughs> as 
so funny. Tara got so nervous, even though it's like we're literally just filming a YouTube video, but no, I put but a microphone like, in front of you. It's a microphone and it's like big life stuff and mm. like it is a big personal topic. stuff, like a personal journey of mm. like my career. Setting up to film another video, batch filming, that's the way when I come to Auckland. Got a very cute like old school um, backdrop with just two chairs and some flowers. This is Tara's spare bedroom, um, so they're obviously still moving in and haven't really set it up yet, but it's perfect for filming. Mm -hmm. 